Hello, I'm here at the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho and a spring has sprung and the days are getting longer and it's definitely getting warmer and I think I want ice cream and ice lollies but actually it's still a bit chilly so what I really want is the idea of ice cream and ice lollies. So with that in mind, I am going to make today cookies which look like ice lollies. They're so cute and they're so easy and I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is just a simple sugar cookie recipe to start with and I'm going to start by beating some sugar and some butter together and my butter is nice and soft, I'm going to whack that into my mixer. And then I have some caster sugar here and I'm going to beat those two together till they're a bit paler. And once that's had about a minute beating, it's time to add a large free-range egg. And I've already mixed this together with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And once that's all in, just beat that together for another minute. And that's all come together nicely. So now it's time to add the dry ingredients. And I have a bowl here with some plain flour in. I'm just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And then give it a little stir. And I'm going to add this to my egg, butter and sugar mixture, but I'm going to do it by hand so that I don't knock all the air out. So just get rid of your paddle if you're using a mixer and whack it all in. And then just using a rubber spatula, I'm going to just fold that together really gently until it becomes a dough. It starts off going kind of like breadcrumbs and then gradually it will clump together. Just keep going until it all comes together into one unified blob. And it's ready, but it's a bit too sticky to use right now, so I'm going to wrap it in cling film. I flatten mine out a bit so that it's easier to roll, but for now I'm just going to put that in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. My cookie dough has been chilling out now for about 45 minutes, it's nice and cool, um, so now I'm going to roll it out and then to start with I'm just going to flour my surface so it doesn't stick to it. This needs to be half a centimetre thick because we're going to put a lollipop stick in the bottom of it. Uh, it's about ready now, so I'm going to use an oval cutter. There is probably out there in the world a lollipop shaped cookie cutter, but I'm improvising because I don't have one. So this is just a regular oval one. I'm just going to start chomping and then I'm going to trim the edges. And you can keep your scraps and re-roll those once. They'll still be pretty good after one roll, but twice is a pushing it a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to gather those up and get them out of the way. And obviously these are egg shaped currently, but I'm going to trim the edges with a big knife. Okay, so once you've trimmed it, you then need lolly sticks. And you can pick these up from craft shops or cake decorating shops, and actually even supermarkets will sell them now. I didn't have time to get any, so I've improvised again and just stole some of the wooden forks from downstairs in the shop and chopped the forky bit off. And I'm just going to stick that really gently in the bottom. And once that's ready, I'm just going to transfer it to a baking sheet really carefully and get on with doing the other ones. Now, after you've re-rolled your scraps, and depending on how big or small your lollipops are, you should get about 12 to 16 out of your dough. But for now, I'm going to bake these at 175 degrees C for 12 minutes. My lolly cookies are out of the oven and they're cool, and it's now time to decorate them. So I am going to be using sugar paste for that. Um, sugar paste you can get in any supermarket these days, it's pretty good stuff. And I've coloured it using colour paste as well, just in really ice creamy pastel colours. I'm going to start by using blue. So I have a non-stick board here and my non-stick rolling pin. I'm just going to roll that out so it's quite thin, about two millimetres thick. If you find that your sugar paste is sticking, just use a bit of corn flour on your board and your rolling pin, that should help. And once it's nice and thin, grab your cookie cutter back or your template if you use one of those. And we're going to make the same shape as the cookie we did earlier. So chomp out a shape and then trim the edges. And you can mix and match your colours if you like to make your lollies look really super cool. Um, I've got four colours here, so I'm going to carry on going. The main thing is to make sure that the initial shape is the same as your cookies.
Once you have all your shapes cut out, you get on with assembling things. So I'm going to grab a cookie and I have some apricot jam here and a little brush and I'm just going to brush all over the top of that so that that's going to be the glue that sticks the sugar paste on. And then grab one of your shapes and very gently lay it on the top and smooth it down with your fingers. And once it's all in place and it's well stuck and you've just smoothed the edges out with your finger, it's time to get on with the drip. And as you can see here, I've got some slightly different shapes. They're basically the same, but I didn't chop the bottom off. I'm just going to grab one of those. And then using a scalpel or a very sharp knife, but be very, very careful, cut through some drip shapes. It'll kind of almost mirror one side to the other. And that way you can use both sides on two lollipops. And once you've cut all the way through, just grab a small paintbrush and just a little bit of water. And I'm going to paint that all over the back of this. And just that little bit of water should be enough to stick one bit of sugar paste to the other. So very carefully, I'm just going to turn it over and put it carefully into place on top of my blue base. So once it's all in place and secure, you can leave it, but if those sharp edges are bothering you, you can use something like this, this little sugar paste tool, uh, just to rub the edges away. And for a bit of extra ice creaminess, I'm going to put sprinkles on, and I'm just going to use water for that. So using your paintbrush again, just paint a little bit on the top, and just sprinkle your sprinkles directly on top of that. So that's done and super cute it is too. So now I'm just going to carry on going using different combinations to make my ice lollies look really cute. So all my little cookie lollies are ready and they look super cute and I'm sure yours do as well no matter what colour you've done them. And if you do take a picture, don't forget to tag me using the hashtag Cupcake Gemma because I'd love to see what you've got up to. Um, this is going to bridge the gap till summer nicely. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. And I'll be back next week with another recipe for you guys. So until then, keep baking. <laughs>